Hey everyone, my name is Hector Aguero, and today I'll be talking about an important issue in today's society, the death penalty. A lot of people have heard a lot about it, but not many people know much about it. So today I'll be giving a brief history on it, uh, the process of modern day death penalty, and what it means to us. Why does it matter? The death penalty is a punishment of execution to someone who is accused and convicted of a capital crime. The first recording of this punishment dates all the way back to 16th century BC. According to Michael Reggio, writer of the history of the death penalty, there have been many different communities from different time periods using the death penalty as punishment for crime. Over the years, the methods for death penalty have changed drastically and was different depending on the class of citizen that you were. Death was normally very cruel and included crucifixion, drowning, being buried alive, getting beaten to death, and impalement. There, are, there was a lot more crimes you could commit given this penalty. It wasn't until the mid-1800s that public executions were attacked as cruel, and the offenses that required a death penalty were lessened to only treason and murder, due later to state reforms. In modern day, Uses of the death penalty, the most common conviction that leads to the use of it is murder. The types of execution in today's society are a lot less cruel, but some would still argue otherwise. There are four methods, lethal injection, electrocution, gas chamber, and hanging. The primary method is lethal injection, but in some cases, other methods will be used if the drugs for lethal injections can't be obtained. The process of being prosecuted to the death penalty is very different and time consuming than a regular trial. For the death penalty, you go through the regular trial, and then after the regular trial, the defendant goes through two other processes called the guilt phase and the penalty phase, in which the jury who is death certified decides the fate of the defendant after receiving all the evidence. The judge does have the power to override after the jury makes its verdict. Why is all this important to us? Well, the process has to get paid somehow, and who pays for it? We do. We do with our taxes. According to www.deathpenalty.org, cases without the death penalty cost 740000 while cases with the death penalty cost $1.26 billion. Not only are the trials more expensive, but keeping each prisoner on death row costs taxpayers $90,000 more a year than keeping them in general population. So you can say it's pretty pricey for us. What I just talked about was a general overview of the death penalty. I went over the history of the penalty, the process, process that it takes place for it to happen, and how we pay for it all to happen. I hope everybody has a better understanding of the death penalty, and thank you for your time.